I've seen a lot of questions recently about how to customize the course catalog page of Lifter LMS. So in this video, I'm going to break down a few options you have using Lifter LMS and Elementor for how you can customize the course catalog page. This is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Let's dive into it. So the number one way I recommend for customizing the course catalog is to use the Lifter Elements plugin. What that is, is a add-on from Tangible. I'll have a link to that down in the description below this video. It's a, a paid add-on that allows you to integrate Lifter LMS and Elementor in some really awesome ways, one of which I'll show you in this video. So by default, this is what the Lifter LMS course catalog looks like, and there's not really a whole lot you can do to it unless you know how to do some custom coding or you just manually rebuild your catalog page, which is totally an option. You would just add in a, like a three column layout in your page builder or in WordPress a three column layout, and then you'd add your titles and your image and link everything up manually. That's one option you have. But one option to keep things dynamic is if you're using Lifter LMS, Elementor, and Lifter Elements, you can create your own course catalog page. So if I come to my site here and I add a new page, I'll call this new course catalog. Go ahead and publish that. And once that's done publishing, I'll go ahead and launch the Elementor Builder. There we go. So go ahead and edit with Elementor at the top there. So now we're going to be launching the Elementor Builder, let it load up. And with Lifter Elements, you can add in what is known as the course list widget. So if I go ahead and drag that over onto my page, I can see my courses listed out in a similar way to the Lifter LMS default. Uh, but the main feature we're going to be looking at here is the content template here, or the custom template. This is an outline, and let me zoom in a little bit here. This is an outline of what elements are being displayed on my course catalog. So I see I have the video or image, the featured video or featured image here at the top, the title, and then the progress, and then the price. Now I don't have prices on my courses here, but if I did, that price would automatically display there. And the really cool thing about this Lifter Elements is that you can add as many items as you want to, and you can change what item this is. So if I had a course excerpt, I could display that right below here. If I happen to have any uh, course excerpts, a little description of the course, I could put it there. I could add CSS classes and some more advanced things, but I have different options for what I can do. I could have custom text if I wanted to do that, I could have a video or something like that. One awesome feature of Lifter Elements, though, I do want to highlight is this custom text option. So you can have custom text here. If I just say hello, that's going to echo on both of my courses here. So it's just going to say hello. But one thing you can do, and I'll probably make some other videos on this if you're interested in this topic, is you can use dynamic content. So if you were to have a custom field using something like advanced custom fields to add to your course, so maybe if you're working with a fitness site, uh, each course might have maybe number of workouts or something like that. So that's not a feature of Lifter LMS, number of workouts is not a course feature, but you can add that as a field. So maybe each course just gives you a number of workouts that are included in that course. So maybe it's like five. And so on each of your courses, you could write five in your custom field. And then right here, you could say display the custom workouts number on your course catalog. So this would say maybe this course has five workouts and this course has three. And that could be a custom thing you could echo on each of your courses using this custom text option. Now this is a little more advanced, but it is a really flexible way to edit your course catalog here. And you can really customize things up. And I definitely recommend checking out Lifter Elements if you're working with Lifter LMS and Elementor and aren't already familiar with this. You can also really dive into the styling of your catalog. Like you can really customize anything here. If you're familiar with Elementor Editor, uh, you know, you can go in here and style, add CSS classes, add border radiuses, change the padding, and really fully customize your course catalog page. So yeah, that's a basic overview of how you can use Lifter Elements along with Lifter LMS and Elementor to fully customize your course catalog page and still keep things dynamic so you don't have to manually rebuild everything yourself by adding in an image and title and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that is always an option to you if you wanted to go that route of manually building it. Yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.